Hi, welcome to this new tutorial about continuous integration. I just figured out how we could encounter an issue when installing Sonar as a Windows service. So what I will do during this video is to show you how to fix that issue. But first, uh, to remember that we have installed Sonar on this port, the 9000 port. Let's check if it's working. It's not working because I restarted my computer. Well, what you do is to come here. You just say services.msc and you click on OK. Here you will have all the services that are running on your computer. We you check now the Sonar service. Here is this, the Sonar Cube service. Uh, what you should do is to start the service. It will not start because you have to change a configuration or it's not starting. You have to change the configuration for it to start. And uh, where is the service? There it is. And what you should do is to change the properties. You should move to login and you will choose an account, an account of your computer whatever it is uh, it's, be it's better that you, uh, you use the, the account you are using now obviously it's better that is if it is this account you are using and I chose my account my current account I put my password I supply it Okay, then restart the service. So now keep service. Okay, everything is okay. You can see that the service has been, has been started. And let's check if we can have the web interface of our Sonar Cube service. Well, it's okay. The service has been started, and uh, you can do whatever you want to do. But during the next video, what we are going to do is to create a job with Jenkins. Thank you, bye.